All right, so as promised, this is going to be a full day feeding on my refeed day. Um, so I do these back to back, two in a row. Um, this is actually where I get to eat a lot of food, right? So I only get 120 grams of carbs on my uh, uh, base days. Um, and then two back to back days of high days. Uh, so this will be my breakfast, which will also be my pre-workout meal. This is also nice because I don't do cardio either. So I get to rest, eat. And then I just do some training, uh, which will be more metabolic type training. Uh, but let's get into the food. So what I'm having, I still have my base foods. I still like to have the, the typical thing you see me on my uh, regular days. But then I just throw some little extras in here and there. Um, uh, it's like jam on toast. You'll see me eat some cereal. They, like some a little bit of fun foods um, just to change it up a little bit. And it's a, such a high day that a variety is fine. Um, to break the monotony of eating the same stuff all the time so as far as protein i like to stick still with my egg whites and my turkey bacon um so with my egg whites i'm doing a little bit more because i'll have actually have a little bit less fat than this one i typically would have i like on my base days um so i'll do 320 grams of egg whites and then uh, just one slice of bacon um which will give me 40 grams of carbs but only like uh, the only black one gram of fat in this but for the fun stuff with my carbs um last night picked up this uh you know i love canyon bakehouse as far as breads gluten-free breads and i found this new one last night heritage style it's a honey white bread uh, gluten-free um, has a little bit more carbs per slice a bigger slice is almost like a sourdough in a sense so i'm going to use that today like you can see pretty big size um, just for a variety um, and I'll put my jam on that and the, the jam that I like um, I get this seedless raspberry organic uh, obviously all organic flavors and it just tastes awesome on toast toast is just good in every meal I literally could eat toast at every single meal then with that I have uh, my rice and grinds um, which I just put in right here it is so that's ready to go. Um, easy to cook. Obviously, you'll see it. But that'll be 70 grams of carbs in my rice and grinds. And then last but not least, it's just a tiny little bowl of fruit. Um, it's only 100 grams, which is around 15 grams of carbs. It's kiwi and banana. Um, I like to have a little bit of fruit on these high days, too, just for liver uh, glycogen replenishment. Because obviously, that's your liver likes fructose for glycogen so it stores there first so in total in this entire meal will be 40 grams of uh, protein uh, 120 grams of carbs and roughly about six five six grams of fat give or take um, i'll also put a little bit of ghee on my toast and then i'll put my jam on top of it so i really like that um, and one thing which i'll do on camera so we can get it is I like to take my blood glucose on the beginning of these days um, just to see where it's at and typically after like five low days it actually goes up a little bit from my typical like usually 70 give or take um, but we'll see what it is you know as long as it's below 80 is all I care and then honestly on these days it typically will drop throughout the day like after meals it'll it'll get down to like 50 sometimes all right so let's see prick my finger The blood on there, let it read. Dun, dun, dun. And we're at 84. A little higher than I'd like, but still obviously easily in range. But it, you'll see, I'll test it later today when I start eating and stuff. Um, and it's just one of the reasons is understand like I'm dieting, dieting, and I'm really low all week. So cortisol levels will tend to rise a little bit more, which will release more blood glucose into the bloodstream and it'll elevate some. Obviously that's still fine and in range easily. Um, and then when I start introducing carbs and I start feeding myself up, it drops cortisol and stress response um, and my body just starts soaking up and utilizing all the, all the carbs that I'm putting in. And that's one of the reasons that my blood glucose starts, she starts dropping over these next two days, like I guarantee tomorrow morning, it will be probably around 60 
to 70, give or take. But you'll see later in the day that two hours after a mill, it'll be anywhere from 60 to 70. Um, so that's why it's just, you have to see trends and stuff and everybody's different with the blood glucose and you can't just one number and freak out. Like mine's typically 70 is in the 70s and that's 84, I'm not concerned. I started eating my carbs, I'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I think I did not put enough water in this. <laughs> so you can see that's after a minute and a half. I just underdid the water, but it's still really hot. So it's, what you can do to fix this easily you just add water to it because it's still so hot it will soak this water up really quick I just honestly keep adding more until I get to the consistency that I like it cooks really easy though that's what I like about uh, not it's, it's it's idiot proof almost to mess it up when you cook it. So now we got a nice creamy bowl. Much better. Eggs are cooking. Toast is going in. Um, yeah, that's it guys for that. Um, then next meal will be my post-workout meal, which is going to be the more fun one because that's why I actually have some uh, cereal and whatnot but yeah so toast with jam rice and grind some fruit egg whites some turkey bacon that will be meal one um i'll get a shot of the meal once i put it all together and then we'll move on to the next one All right, so we are on meal two, and obviously, like I said in the last one, this is my post-workout meal. So I'll go through all my little goodies that I have stacked up here that I'm going to have uh, for this meal. But to kind of keep you guys up on this, I'm gonna, I actually I'll, I think I'll test my blood glucose every single meal because um, you know I like data and just doing stuff like this and poking myself ten times a day. So let's see where it is. I had 40 grams of carbs intra, so. Prick. I'm bleeding like a pig. Let it come off. My towel. There we go. 69. Uh, for most people, that's pretty low. Um, and see, I mean, what I did with training too, I did pure metabolic stress based work because these next two days I am refeeding. So I want to do as much just primary nutrient partitioning work as I can, um, driving up those pathways to where my, my cells, my muscles are just like wanting to soak up as much freaking glucose as possible, especially the amount of carbs that I'm taking, which I'll take in a little over 600 grams today. So to, that's the thing with matching training with nutrition. It's, so I have kind of two different setups with training as I'm doing through the week on my base days because I couldn't do this type of training uh, due to not having any carbs. So it'd be very inflammatory. Because uh, I don't have the, glyc the the glucose in there to run the system, because obviously metabolic stuff is pure, is just glycolytic in nature. Um, so you can see matching training nutrition is very important. All right, so we're at 69. So obviously my body's ready to soak all this shit up. So let's go with the fun stuff. This is one of my funner meals. So obviously, like always, my protein's kind of sludge here, pudding, whatever you want to call it. Nice thick consistency. Um, the peanut butter and IsoFit, my Nutrex. Now what I'm also doing here is I use Mike's Mix Tapioca Maltodextrin. Anybody has any type of digestive issues, this stuff is phenomenal to add carbs. Or if you just have a lot of food and it's hard to get all your carbs in, this doesn't add any volume. So I just mixed it in here with my pudding and you, you can't even tell it didn't increase the volume at all, but um, there's 40 grams of carbs from this in there. Uh, because I don't want a ton of food volume, I want the calories, but again, I don't want to bog my gut down. So I put that in my protein and then the fun foods, is my cereal because I, I mean, it's been a while since I've done cereal, and I just a lot of the times I like mixing stuff because I like flavors of different ones. So I'm mixing three different cereals here uh, that I got last night. So one of my favorites, uh, Leapin Lemurs, Lemurs, or however you pronounce that, um, it's a peanut butter and chocolate blend flavor. That's cereal number one. Cereal number two, Rice Checks, 
my go-to. Um, and then my last one that I like, it's basically kind of like Cheerios, just obviously the organic kind of version, no other additives to it. Um, so just all three of these mixed in a bowl. Um, and this is 130 grams of carbs worth of cereal, 40 grams of carbs in the Mike's mix. So it gives me 170 grams of carbs. Um, protein, that's 40 grams of protein. And then obviously I'll use a little bit of almond milk um, to put in my cereal to get it down. Um, and then I've already done all my supplements and whatnot. Yeah, so that's meal two. This is post-workout. Uh, and I got three more meals to go. All right, guys, so this is my second, uh, well, it's my third meal, but uh, it's the one after my post-workout meal. Um, so obviously I had this protein powder and then my cereal, and now we're going to obviously back to some solid food. Um, with this meal, I'm, right now I'm sauteing, you know, I like sauteing mushrooms. These are shiitake mushrooms. They got really good flavor. Sauteing those in about a fourth a teaspoon of ghee. Um, and then this is my ground chicken. 98% uh, lean so there's like maybe like two grams of fat in this uh, so I'll use that for my protein and then for my right for my carbs this is like my go-to rice um, this is organic jasmine rice uh, you can get it at uh, Whole Foods uh, it's very convenient it's got a really good flavor you literally it's in the microwave right now uh, just put it in the microwave uh, put a lid on it well put it in the microwave put a little bit of water in there Put a lid on it, three and a half minutes, and it's good, nice and moist. And then what I'll do is, honestly, I'll just mix all this in a bowl. So I'll dump my rice in the bowl, mushrooms in the bowl, put some sugar, or some sugar, put some ketchup and some Dijon mustard on it, and just mix it up and eat it. Um, and then I will have uh, around four rice cakes and uh, a tablespoon of jam on those. Again, it's, it's my refeed, so I, want, I just want some like snacks uh, with my meals. It's kind of like a dessert in a sense. Um, so I'll do four of those and this. So my total macros for this meal is going to be 40 grams of protein. Um, I'm doing 210 grams of rice, which is going to give me 70 grams of carbs. Four rice cakes, uh, which gives me 30 grams of carbs. And then a uh, total of two tablespoons of jam. Um, that's another 20 grams, so it's a 20, 30, 50, so roughly around 120 grams of carbs in this meal. Uh, so now I have two meals left. Um, honestly, not 100% sure what I'll have for those, um, but we'll see. All right, so we are on the last meal of this evening. Um, a little later than I would typically have it. It's almost 10 o'clock, um, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably go to bed about 11.30 tonight, so 90 minutes before I bed, no big deal. But I'm getting a little uh, creative, so to speak, with this last meal. I, I just don't feel like eating meat right now. Chicken, turkey, or even my eggs, I just don't feel it. But I am craving my turkey bacon. So that's the only solid protein source I'm going to have. So I'm going to have two slices of my bacon. Then what I did is I made pudding out of our uh, Nutrex plant protein, which is freaking awesome. It's great, especially for making pudding. This is the cinnamon cookies flavor. And then a paleo protein, which is a beef isolate. Um, just to have a little bit of a, a more complete source. This is a still, the plant protein is a complete source because we have four different um, plants in here, based proteins. But I wanted a, still a really complete source here with the, uh, the paleo protein. So what I did is made a pudding out of that. So you can see it's pretty thick. Then what I'm going to do, because just to add a little flavor, a little more flavor and crunch, because I just like crunch. I'm gonna add my leaping lemurs, which is um, a peanut butter and chocolate flavored cereal. So I just got about, it's just about 15 grams of carbs worth. And I'm gonna dump it in there, mix it up. I just have like crunch to it. Uh, and then I have, let me get it started here. I have my rice and grinds cooking. So I'm gonna have 80 grams of carbs from that. And then I, I gotta have my bread, right? So I'm gonna do, I got toast in there, put some jam on that, a little bit of ghee butter, 
um, and I'll be good. And then again, let's test my blood sugar. This is the last meal I've had. Around four, I've had a little, about 475 grams of carbs so far. This meal will have 125 grams in it. So let's see what the reading is for this last meal. All right. I, I would say it's around 90 or less. Prick. And it could surprise me. It could be something completely different. But we'll see. Whoa, it's actually lower than a lot lower now. 71. So, <laughs> you know, I predicted it that it would drop all day long. And honestly, that's about the highest reading I've had after each meal since I started feeding this morning. So 71. Um, so we're good to go there. Uh, so total macros in this meal. We got 40 grams of protein with the protein powder. Um, and then it's 80 with the carbs here, the 40 there, that's 120, and that 130. So 135 grams of carbs, 40 grams of protein, and around 10 grams of fat um, total in this last meal. So I will repeat this again tomorrow, but tomorrow um, I'll likely have I'll, have, I'll have my sushi that I order special from the restaurant. Um, I'll do like three or four rolls there. Um, other than that, the, the macronutrient intakes will be the same. So my totals for the day are 200 grams of protein, uh, 600 grams of carbs, and 40 to 45 grams of fat. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how I look in the morning, and I should be a lot tighter and a little bit, just a tiny bit fuller. Usually after the first refeed day, it just kind of sucks things in, but I'm not full. Um, it just pulls the skin tight, and then the next day, usually on Monday, I look almost my best. I'm still not full, but you got the point. Um, so yeah, that was a full day of eating, lots of carbs. You see how the blood glucose track, just to give you guys a little more info. Um, thanks for following along. If you have any questions, just comment below. Yeah. Da, 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 be on camera.